Hi guys, and welcome to another Davy Shambles video. Um, this one I'm going to show you how to boot Windows 98 uh, SE um, through DOSBox. Uh, now, DOSBox is an application you can download it from the internet, uh, Dash Hacks, PS3 Hacks, uh, still search on Google to find it, DOSBox for PS3. It comes a package file, it'll be um, 74R1 version. Uh, with this as well, it helps to have a USB keyboard like this one. Uh, there is a keyboard built into the application which you can use. Uh, press L3, it brings it up. I'll show you that in a second. Let's start by launching the application. And I'm going to leave you the command line to boot it. And then I will show you um, the command sequence to boot games from it as well. So you can play games straight from DOSBox itself. Um, so with this, we're going to type in, um, to, to boot Windows, we're going to type in mount space C space, and then I'll show you the uh, inbuilt keyboard. So shift, and then this little squiggle, and then a slash, like so, and then in capitals, because my file's in capitals, we're going to put in win 98. And that's the name of my file in my user directory, which is in um, hbdb90000 uh, in the game section. So in game, hdd0, game, hdbd9000. That's the directory. So go in that into user directory, then put in your file in the user directory of of that, like you would for you know, like multi man or whatever. So let's type enter, and there it is. It says drive C is mounted as local directory to dev hdd zero slash game slash hbdb nine thousand slash user directory slash win ninety eight slash. Now with this Z that we've still got here now, what we do now is we type it. We type C, hold the tab button and press colon. And then enter, and it changes it the directory to C. Now with this, we're going to type in uh, this. So in lowercase, I oh no, sorry, that's not. In lowercase, I M G mount. So image mount space with A, so that you declare what drive you're going to mount it to. Uh, and then we type in this, which is w nine eight dot i m g. So this is the image file to boot Windows from, which is in your directory, which I've explained you put over with an FTP or use Moi Man um, file browser itself. So we type enter. So drive A is mounted as dev underscore hdd zero slash game slash hbdb9000 slash user directory slash win98 slash w98.image now with this now I've put in image mount blah 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 what we do is we type in boot space w98.img and hit enter and there you go uh, the camera's a bit wonky because I needed to show you what I was typing, so I had to move it the uh, staff that I used to mount the camera on to record the TV. is not very long, so... <clears throat> and plus it brings up a little square in the screen when you're um, messing around with it. So what I shall do is I shall move you guys around a little bit, so you can actually see now in the middle of the screen. So there you are. So I'll right, give it a couple of seconds, it should boot. And then Windows should start. It's the hourglass and the screen. So then you can use your mouse. Well, you can use your. I mean, you can plug a mouse into the USB keyboard. That's what I can do. But I mean, what I can do as well is I can use the left stick of my controller as well. Just let it boot up the rest of this. Uh, I'm going to have to find a way, I uh, think, of booting other applications. So what you have to do is you have to mount applications inside the directory using Multiman. And 
basically um, mount them through DOS again. So that's what you have to do. So there you go. You have your, uh, your computer icon at the top here. Uh, your recycle bin, and then you have your start function here. And the the, the uh, left stick is very sensitive on this. So you hit your start button. It should bring up um, the start window. Um, as the last time I I shut this down, I didn't close it properly. I just turned it off. So it still acts as a computer, like if you didn't shut your computer down properly it says you didn't shut it down properly and uh, there and that sort of stuff. So yeah, I didn't close it properly, that's why I was acting a bit slow. But as you can see, Windows has booted. And like I say, there's the recycle bin and the computer icon up there. What's going to happen is actually not, the window hasn't come up yet. Just give it a little chance quickly. If not, I'll reset it and then show you how to load the game through DOSBox. I mean, if you want to play them classics, you know, them old classic DOS games, you can do. So let's, um, let's cancel this and let's try again. Let me show you how to launch the games. It resets the normal firmware. Okay, so the same sort of principle applies. You download a game, you put it into a file, and then put it onto the directory. So let's launch DOSBox again. I mean, with this, I, I found this out myself how to do this just by looking at basic commands because there was nowhere on the internet that I could find that taught you how to do it. So with this to mount games what you're going to do is you're going to do the same sort of principles we started off before you're going to type in mount space c space squiggle slash and then type in games games and then enter and then again C tab colon changes it to C and then what we're going to do is we're going to go deeper into the directory so now that it says it's mounted dev hdd0 slash game slash hpdb9000 slash user directory slash games now rather than you know slash windows 98 whatever it was before and we've done the same principles, we've turned it into C. So what we want to do is we want to go deeper into that directory. So we, what we use is we use CD, which is stands for Change Directory. right? So now it starts looking in that directory of games for what you're looking for. So type CD and then the name of the game you want. So CD space, let's say Doom. OK, Enter. And it changes the directory to Doom, okay? And then what you do is you just after it says Doom at the bottom there. So you guys can't really see very well. Let me turn it a little bit. So that's what I've mounted there. Okay, and then once it changes it to Doom at the bottom with the arrow, just type in again Doom. Actually, no, but make sure it's capitals though. Doom, okay? So you've got Doom, arrow, Doom, press enter. Okay, so the Doom system start up, it runs through all the business, and there you go, there's Doom. That's how you run DOS games using DOSBox. But like I say, I couldn't find anywhere else on the internet that would give you a basic rundown of how to load them up. Um, obviously, there's no sound on this, but I mean with this you can change the WAD files over, so you can, like, you can download um, modifications like Aliens Doom, and you can add the files into the folder and what it will do, it will boot all the characters as aliens and bring out your pulse rifle and all that sort of stuff um, the sound files on this I think run through uh, WAV files and stuff like that so what you need to do is you need to set up a different folder inside the game directory itself um, to boot the thing, so you just, you just I think you have to type like boot sound or something and then boot the game 
something along them sort of lines. But um, that's the game running. Uh, I'm going to download some more games soon, like Lemons and stuff like that. But um, I thought I hadn't done a video for a while, so I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. Because um, I was contemplating whether or not to change my OS over to Linux. Um, because you know Reebok has the option to boot other OS, so I was change, contemplating whether to do that. So I wanted to test it out with Windows and stuff first, see how it would look when it was running. Um, it looks a bit tacky, but I mean, then again, I might go for something maybe like um, Linux Fedora or something like that, try and get that running on it to see how it looks. But anyway, this is the game running. Um, you've seen how to boot Windows and stuff using it. Um, Hope this helped for any of you guys that are looking to, uh, you know, run games and stuff using DOSBox.